but I we'll still do the speed think, advantage. No, they're both extremely slow PVD. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> if you look at how much, if he had 12 more experience, oh, he actually might be in trouble now. The DD's gonna run out very shortly. Loda pops the wind run, PPD on the run, but the leech seed, I would assume, is gonna be enough for the kill eventually. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Universe is coming in, get the Shikuchi, so it's gonna turn into a 2 2 1v1. Loda gets the first blood in the meantime, Universe taking out Tree just a little bit later. Misery so. got denied. Oh, well, they're even on farm, I guess, so. But out leveling him. Out leveling him. Oh, by we have a dream level. coil at top. Ake is forced Radiant to put down the tombstone. He's still coiled. But they're gonna recoil. It's really uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Look at the damage from Nether Blast plus uh, Decrepify. That is insane. And even Lode is here for support. He's gonna scout out a little bit. Question is, are they gonna actually dive? Misery does not have his ultimate or anything like that. Zai's gonna find Lode in the in the trees. And here oh, comes the initiation. Leech seed. Zai. Great shackle shot's gonna destroy him in Loda. And if there was a Pugna there, that would have been a lot of damage going away. And top lane. You know, yeah, top Misery lane as well. Free Ant. Bulldog himself. Yeah, Bulldog half HP. Trouble. He just puts down his ward, but then dies shortly after, and then his ward is cleaned up as well. I mean, that's, what, 80 gold or whatever going the way of... He is uh, just living adding armor insult to cool injury. Down. They could have saved him with a living armor, but Misery had already used it elsewhere. So, EG with the perfect opportunity. Concoction, 8 Mother, on Balls Deep. He is going to get it on PPD. Oh, wait! Beautiful juking from PPD. Gets a stun off. Just to and now show Universe his disgusting troubles. Mother. He's going on to Misery, who doesn't have Nature's Guys. Oh, dust is pop. Universe can just turn out of it. Yeah, okay. The dust really does nothing in this case. Concoction will finally go off. Arteezy doesn't have the Aegis this time, getting extremely low. Might actually go down the right click, and he does the 8 Mother. Shackle shot for the first time, missing for Loda. But the Tombstone will be cleaned up from Universe. PPD in the meantime. Focus Fire takes him out. They don't have any vision of Universe, so another stun on himself. For a mother, and that's half HP. And he actually becomes spear with the first damage. Are they able to take him out? They are. And in fact, he uses his his blink dagger to get out of that. Pretty much no problem. Universe in the meantime, a little bit up over time, but not the case this time. And Zai not able to get the stun. He has no setup whatsoever for that stun. He's at half HP. He gets shackled yet again. The focus fire was already used, not even needed. RTZ pops the BKB to dodge the stun. Misery. Oh, will not drop to the right click, but Universe Wait, will. What? Not having a time lapse. Arteezy has the BKB still activated on the run. He might be in some trouble here. He's going to go for a kill before he dies. He will get one, but inevitably will die as a result. The Aegis is used. PPD is back in the hizzy. Multicast on Ake. Eight Mother stuns himself yet again. <laughs> and Arteezy. This is, this is a 2v4, and Alliance is running away. This is not a good sign if you're Alliance fans right now. Arteezy. Just trying to kite as much as he can. Ape Mother gets stunned. Is he going to stun himself again? <laughs> Guess what? Yes! <laughs> he got it. From Alliance. I'm sorry, from EG. Here comes the initiation. The beautiful ulti from Fear is going to hit three. Admiral Bulldog in the meantime. He is able to get off his ward, but will probably die shortly after. So far, it's a one for one. A one for zero exchange. Lena is going to come back into the fight. Expect the TP. Two dead for Alliance. Make it three. Ape Mother. No mana whatsoever. Arteezy blows him up. Triple kill going his way. With that DD activated, you have no chance. <laughs> and they're not committing. All there, yeah, all there is is... Well, there's a stun from Alchemist. Something. And the slow to follow. Here we have initiation. Fear getting bursted down really quickly, but the BKB's activated galore for EG. Puck pops his, his cheese, so he'll come back basically a second life along with RTZ. Eight Mother will get the stun up on RTZ. Can they finish him off? Decrepify is there. He's at half HP. Can EG actually do anything about this? RTZ at half HP still. Winner of the first to fall, and the first damage is ridiculous. Who had the blade mail? He attacked on dying with blade mail on her. Teezy just dealt like a thousand damage to himself in two attacks. <laughs> but... Meanwhile, while they're taking out PPD, which is not a very important kill, by Loda, he's missing a little bit. Sai gets the Yules into a stun. Is the first damage going to be here? Double force F gets him out of trouble. Ake, in the meantime, might be the one in trouble now. Pops his ultimate. Here we go. Tombstone. This is going to be a team fight. Arteezy gets sheep right off the bat. Ake gets bursted down to the ground despite having the blade now. There we see Laguna Bay finally being used, but that's the Aegis. Triant. Now we're seeing the farm advantage for EG come to fruition. 
Good god, look at how fast Zai is attacking with that Bloodlust activated. Ape Mother does get the stun off, it's gonna hit Zai in the face. Meanwhile, Loda, look at the damage from Arteezy, it's enough to take him out the trade, the trade kills, and Ape Mother actually able to take out one of the members of EG, but we have buybacks galore. Two for EG as they come back into the fray. Meanwhile, Universe takes Bottom Rex completely by himself. I mean, this is literally four versus five. And the base is being decimated. So as I said, not the best split push opportunity for EG. They only get one lane of Rex and a tier four for free. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, Arteez is gonna die. Oh, Loda has focus fire. Do they have vision? Oh, wait, they don't have to take. Really? He could turn on Ape Mother if he stuns himself. Oh my god. Alright, well, he's Weaver. Okay. Going for top lane in the meantime. We're not really gonna care what's going on here. Too much. Weaver's gonna find himself in a fight. Misery. On the run. Gets bursted down. There's the puck. That's the first kill I've seen, maybe, with that dagger. This looks to be game. Gonna be quite an easy Rax. As TA apparently was killed and you screamed at the highest velocity. Okay. <laughs> please hit me! I have blade mail! <laughs> hit me, please! <laughs> and it's gonna be Mega Creeps going the way of EG. Time lapse is gonna get Universe out of there pretty safely. And the horse faces will come out very shortly, I'm sure. As another Puck Dagon. Dagon Express. Eight Mother gets the stun off on PPD. But we'll take the right clicks of Universe. He's pretty damn tanky, even at this stage. Against a Universe who's super duper far. Oh, in fact, you might bashes? actually get the kill. Bash, -ity, bash, -ity, bash, bash, bash. Universe He's going thinking for it. about Be a what man. to drop for the gem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's, that's some free items you got there, I suppose. What did he drop? He, he dropped his mech. And, uh, oh, and then it got destroyed. It. Yeah. That's too bad. Oh. The Alliance are going to call the GG. Well. All right. That got a lot harder than it had to for EG, but they still they were still in complete control. They of the tried game. their best to throw it. They really did. Ah, uh, uh, they could have tried harder for that. That could have still gone way worse. I've seen way worse, but uh, yeah, they just after the early game went the way that way it did, and especially the farm on both Artesian Universe just threw the roof this game.